In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, <coughs> cast into the hell Satan and all evil spirits who roam through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Today, Easter Monday. In this Mass, we again offer all our intentions in God's table. Special blessings also to our birthday celebrants, Annie Lim Ketty and Consol Rene Ledesma. A special intention for Pochi Bataonon. And also, we continue to pray for the fast recovery of our sick brothers and sisters, especially Joan Ortiz, Sita Del Mabini, Doctora Ros Hamco, Doctora Tess Ronquillo, Julie and Joey Oi, and uh, eternal repose for Army Leasing, Jose Arellano, Felicitos Mole. Our presider in today's celebration is Father Baltasar Obico, OFM. My dear brothers and sisters, let's start our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us humbly acknowledge our need for God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us give glory to God in the highest. For goodwill, we praise you, we, we bless, bless you, you. We adore for you, we glorify you, you. We, give we give you thanks, thanks for your for great, great glory. Lord God, God Heavenly King, King O God, Almighty, God, Almighty Father, Father, we worship you. You take the away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. us. You are, you are seated, seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. Receive Keep our prayer. prayer. For you, you alone, alone are the Holy One. You, you alone, alone are the Lord. Lord. You, you alone, alone are the Most High, High Jesus, Jesus Christ. With the, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit and the glory, the glory of God, God the Father. The Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who be constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God, with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lowless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, 
because it was impossible for him to be helped by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Therefore my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh too will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God has sworn an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the neither world, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus, of this were all witnesses, exalted at the right hand of God. He poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response will be, Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is to hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, for you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body to abide in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the near world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, ran to announce the news to his disciples. Behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers telling them, you are to say, his disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, you will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. This story was circulated among the Jews to the present day. 
the gospel of the lord i think many of us have an entirely different celebration of easter yesterday but equally joyful as well minus the colorful egg hunting easter bunnies and formal exquisite dinner in flash hotel it was simply an intimate family gathering but joyful nonetheless minus the trimmings of material things joy however is doubly experienced not lessened by sharing it to others with martha and with the two mary the with the mixed joy of fear and with mixed feelings of fear and joy the two men, the two women went back to the tomb and in their way they met jesus along the way they embraced jesus feet and did him homage but jesus took them and told them go to galilee to the brothers where they will see him this week this easter week the pastoral team would like to accompany you on a sequential sequential team daily on the team of mission especially adopting the cbcp's dialogue to harmony in the first initiative or the first impulse that we should have for mission to get out of ourselves is Jesus injunction to to Mary's in the gospel do not be afraid we cannot go out of ourselves unless the fear grips us so Jesus told them do not be afraid why and what are we afraid of of course in the case of these two women these two women were afraid that they will be hurt harmed arrested by the authorities for spreading the false news or fake news of Jesus having risen from the dead so in order to preserve themselves they would rather not tell the true story unlike the soldiers who in their desire for money would spread the good news why and why are we afraid of fear prevents us from getting out of ourselves to others fear is not certainly not because we want to be harmed to be hurt to be arrested but deep down it is deeply rooted in our fear of death because of our myotic view of reality as simply material and the consequent distorted sense of self preservation the antidote to fear is faith faith in the resurrection yesterday we celebrated a great event of which paul says our faith would not have been in vain had christ not been raised from the dead we are invited now to get out of ourselves to take that fear away from us by believing in the good news of god's resurrection from this moment on nothing will be the same all things will be measured by this event of resurrection that love was triumph over death as the over ordering power of reality that there is no more dominion over human life and consciousness except as an illusion satan is the dehumanizing force who encourages us that illusion to convince that we are not free and a person who lives under the illusion of death as final means he lives fearfully he will love himself he will not get out of himself fearfully then he will live greedily because he will be overruled 
by money in his life and we live impulsively and violently in a climate of isolation and despair. On the other hand, our faith in the resurrection is the key to mission. All fears will be wiped away. And from now on, we can get out of ourselves to claim the good news that Jesus is truly alive. Let us present our needs to God our Father, rejoicing because Christ has triumphed over death and entered into his glory. Let our response be, victorious God, bless us. That the church may be renewed in the recent Christ and bring the message of hope and love to all the world. Let us pray to the Lord. That government officials may not fear to live by the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. That the peace of our risen Lord may dwell in our hearts and in our homes and spread throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. That we as a community may share the joyous news of the resurrection with those we meet its day. Let us pray to the Lord. That the COVID-19 epidemic come to a swift resolution with the recovery of the sick, the protection of those who have been exposed, for experts to find a cure, for government and health authorities to take the appropriate steps to hold its spread, and that we, the faithful, act responsibly for the good of all. We pray to the Lord. that the faithful departed, having died with Christ, may share in his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, we pray that the joy of Easter may penetrate our minds and hearts. Bring us closer to you. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of the hands. It will become the bread of life.
Pray, my dear friends, that is our offerings be made acceptable to God, the loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just that you turn our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but on this day above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By dying, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You indeed call your Lord the fount of all holiness. May call you therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting as worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Roderick, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy and religious. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially all the souls who command this Mass. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let's greet one another now the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold, Jesus is truly risen. Blessed are we who are invited to partake of this banquet. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord. Make those you have set on the way to eternal salvation worthy of your gifts. Through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Her Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Lettare, Alleluia. Qui ad quemeru isti portare. Alleluia, resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deo, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. Because the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has been pleased to give joy to the whole world, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, we may attain the joys of eternal life. Through the same Christ, the Lord. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Yeah.